Hello, hello, here is Aggie again. Why is it so important to understand timelines? And how do we create a timeline for ourselves that has some good stuff in it? In order to explain this, I have to lean on quantum mechanics a little bit. Otherwise, it could be a little too far out of the box to accept. But there's some science behind this. So first, what is a timeline? You are in one. In fact, you may be in more than one. Your timeline represents your projected movement in linear time from the past through the present and on into the future. That is what we call the timeline. And whatever happens on this path is entirely created and controlled by you. Okay, I bet there's more than one of you out there saying, oh, no, 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 that isn't true. I did not create all that garbage that happened to me. They did it to me. Corrupt judges, thieving lawyers. Oh, the government did it. They cost, so I lost everything. Well, let's visit that concept a little bit. In order to make it out of this maze of convoluted thinking, it would help to understand what the universe is, what we are, and how creation in our existence actually happens. Yeah, what is this universe? Is it even real? Here's something to think about. There's a quantum physicist named James Gates. He says that deep down in the equations explaining the fabric of space, they find computer code, computer language. There are concepts representing ones and zeros. This tells us the universe has an organized structure somewhat like a computer program, a hologram. It has many similarities with a hologram. So then, is it real? Look at a car, an automobile, in a hologram that our science can create. Is the car real? No, but the image is real. And the hologram is real, physically. Transfer that concept into our existence. Quantum physics tells us that we live in a mind created universe. So whose mind is it? and whose computer is creating the computer language James Gates find deep in the equations explaining the fabric of space. Or better yet, who's sitting at the computer creating all this? Well, since we are in a mind created universe, Quantum physics and spiritual science is telling us that we create everything in our mind first before it shows up in our existence. So we are responsible for what happens in our so-called reality. So what we have created in the past, following through the present and on into the future, 
that is our timeline. And it is entirely created by us, by the way we think, intend, visualize, believe, what we do, and the concepts we have accepted and allow to dwell in our mind, that creates it all. So what then we should do is to create an image of a future that you want. We should visualize it, feel it, love it, put colorful images into it, put emotion into it, and intend for it to happen. Then you place a conceptualized bubble of what you want into the future at a time-coded event. Don't use the calendar. Dates are worthless. It's got to be an image of an occasion or thing in the future. Kind of like a birthday party, Christmas party. Like when you're standing around with family and friends, toasting and celebrating what you have created. Then you go and visit this creation every day. And every time you visit your creation in the future, you lay down attractor strings to it. And you are drawn up this timeline to it. And when linear time catches up with your image in the future, you can just walk into it. Of course, it will also help if you do everything you can to help make it happen. This way, the timeline has been created. But what if in the middle of this timeline, you decide that you do not want the future you thought of before. And you start visualizing, thinking, intending, and believing it is possible to create another future, totally different things in it. And then you start creating that in your mind. Then you are creating a new existence. Again, you place it in the future and you aim for that one. Then you start doing the same process of creation as I mentioned before. And then you create that new timeline. That's how creation happens. That's what I did. I left the farm in Norway. It would have been a good life back there, but I came to the United States to become a commercial pilot because that was my dream. I did some of these things I just mentioned, just didn't know what it meant back then, but I did some of these things. That's how creation happens. From that moment when we make the decision to go a different di direction and put energy into it, then we start creating the new timeline. Now the question is, we go that way in a new timeline, what happens to the old one? Hmm. Quantum physics is divided on this. One say that quantum field uh, that is created in the old timeline collapses because my mind is not there driving it. And then the other one say that because I created it and my consciousness still drives it because what I created is conscious energy and this energy does not go away. When I had the universal download explaining the universe, I, uh, it appeared 
as the old timeline collapsed. But I now believe it just went out of view. I had to change my opinion on that after I understand the concepts behind my photographic evidence of time travel. If only one timeline was possible at any time, I would not be able to have one picture from two different timelines at the same time. And I do. You can see the pictures on one of my websites in the picture gallery where I have 5,000, actually some 300 unbelievable pictures of things that should not exist, but it does. You can go to, uh, you go and see the picture gallery, you can see time slippage. That is when you move between two different timelines and also time travel. You can go to www.age-nost.com and that is A-A-G-E dash N-O-S-T dot com. Go into the picture gallery, page eight, and I believe it is the seventh row of pictures down. It's in the middle. You can see two pictures next to each other. There's some text with it that will explain what the pictures are all about. So we find that we can make major decisions to change the path of our life. Not everything is predetermined. And we create a new future by creating a new timeline. It starts with a decision. Let me take you a little bit further out of the box. Now that we can understand timelines and how to create one for ourselves with good things in it, especially if you have been watching our other uh, radio shows and videos that we have on our website for the radio show, broadcastteamalpha.com. That is broadcastteamalpha.com. And also another place you need to visit, and that is the Mastermind Connection on Patreon. There is some phenomenal videos there too. Now that will explain a lot more of what the mind can do. We do some incredible things there. Now, here's another one. What if, let's say we have an ailment, like a bad liver, and it's critical. Thinking about how we create our existence. What if we had a picture of a perfectly healthy liver? Put that picture up in front of us, went into meditation and stared at it stared at that picture for a few hours every day while telling ourselves, my liver is sound and perfectly healthy. What do you think could happen? You remember Maurice Goodman? I spoke of him in my last video about how to reverse the aging process. He was in a plane crash. He punctured his diaphragm, broke his back right below the neck, severed the spinal cord, could not breathe without a ventilator, and he could not move any part of his body. In a matter of a few weeks, he regenerated his diaphragm so he could breathe again. And in a few months, he regrew the spinal core so he was up walking and totally recovered and he did that all by the way he was thinking and visualizing think on that that is the power of the mind 
So let's take it one step further. What if you visualize a kind of benevolent society where everybody is productive in their own way, taken care of with respect and love? It is very possible if you create it. You could engage and bring that into your timeline going into the future. There are myriads of timelines out there and other timelines may not have that, but yours could have it in it. And that is why you should come and join us on the Mastermind Connection meetings on Sunday, where we do some incredible things and create by the mind. Send us a request for more information and a link to the Zoom video conference room and send that to the Mastermind Connection at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to know more about our amazing universe, how to create the future before you have to live it, and uh, how to use your mind in ways we normally would think would be impossible, check out my book, Spiritual Science, Higher Conscious Thinking, and How to Access the Universal Consciousness. Go to Amazon and you'll see all the subjects written about in there. You will like it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed talking about it. And uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.